Yo, man, so. Damn, shit happened, man. Shit happened, shit happened. Like I just, I just made on the title, man. Some dude just crashed his CLS 63 AMG V8 V Turbo, my friend. Can't imagine the pain I'm feeling for him, man. It's not my car, but the pain I'm feeling for that dude. Damn. And the reason being, because I was, you know, after I saw that thing, it changed. It changed my decision instantly. I was, I was on my way to the car dealership myself. Um, let me, let me start the story from the beginning. My car got involved in an accident like two months back before the corona thing started, before the corona shit hyped up too much. So some dude kind of ran me over from, from the behind. Like he kind of, it was on a traffic style up, he could not uh, break on time, so he ended up ramming me from behind. So my car is kind of a bit whacked behind it's still it's still driving i've been driving it all the time but the the boot or the tailgate is not shutting completely so i was like yeah this car served me enough time five good five to six good years i've been driving that car i, I will not even paying attention to, to the look of that car i don't know why you know when you're about to lose something that's when you look at the car and you're like damn why have i been driving this kind of car you know like, I could have done a bit of justice to that guy. I could have made some spotty rims, like, pimp it a bit, but I think I didn't have much time for that. I was too much on the on the grind, too much hustling and everything. Till the moment the car got rammed, and I was like, ah, no, I think that's the time. It's my time not to change to a second car. That is my first ever car, like, uh, the first ever car to have owned, you know. So I was kind of emotionally attached to it, so I wasn't, I wasn't going to let it go that easily. But the accident changed everything, so I was like, oh, I think it's time I get a new car. So I was on my way to the dealership, because mind you, uh, the last two months, uh, because of the corona thing, the garage, plus the car dealerships and everything was shut down, so I could not I could not get myself another car at the moment, and I could not get my car repaired. Luckily, it wasn't that damaged that it could not move, so I was, I was, I was moving around with it for a while, so... I got to the decision now. I need to change my car, man. I, it's look horrible behind driving a car with a broken tailgate and everything. So I'm on my way to the car dealership. I, I saw this fancy Mercedes. You know, I was I'm always into into estate cars or, or better known as combi or caravan. You know. So I thought, let me let me let me check out a C class or a E class combi. You know, this this one this one especially this is the one that I was going to check out. This one over here. So. I was I was torn in between two decisions like should I repair my car or should I get myself a new car you know and um, for this Mercedes to be lying to be honest I'm not that loaded that I have I could pay it on the on the on the spot like here's the cash money I, I take it even if I had maybe financing a car is it's, it's still cheap around here you pay a little percent so I was like. I had made my decision, now I'm going to make a car, I'm going to finance that car, I'm going to take it, I'm going to change my perspective, I'm going to change my look now. So, me, I'm driving, I'm, I'm in my old car, this car over here, which is a bit damaged, so I'm cruising around. And now I was on my way to the dealership, like, let's say, I was kind of five kilometers away from the dealership. So, I'm driving, I'm going, I'm going to take a turn at a certain back street. And all of a sudden, a black CLS 60, 63 AMG B8 B Turbo. Whoa, you know what, how powerful that car is, how expensive that car is. The car just comes. I think my guy wanted to make a, a spin turn, which is the back, back street, so you know, no, not too much police and everything. But all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. The car just ran into a trailer which was parked. 
beside. See it on the picture right here. You can see it how it looks like. So that he kind of crushed it. Boom! I'm like, whoa, what's not happening? I didn't have my camera rolling. Normally it's illegal to, to, to drive with camera rolling all over Germany. So the moment I saw that, I was like, it's also illegal to film an, an accident where somebody has been injured, like blood and everything and everything. It's not, it's not legal at all. Never dare do that. It's too expensive. You'll be fined the most money you could ever think. So everybody, uh, it was one guy inside the car, uh, no, two guys, so they got out of the car. So I noticed, okay, nobody's injured and everything. I was still inside my car, so I kind of like, I need to take a sneak picture of this. Tip tip, started my cam quickly, so took the photo, and I was like, shit. Then I kind of noticed later on, the, the, as I I saw, saw that, I made my small caption, while I, while I was now driving on the turn, I noticed the car has a red number plate. What does that mean? A red number plate is basically a car on a road test. A car on a, like it's a buyer, it's a, it's a person who wants to purchase a car, is doing a test drive on the car, you know. And then I was like, damn, what the hell is going on here, man, you know. If, if, if the car was already fully purchased, like, like maybe the person who was driving had already purchased the car fully, then there's another issue in my perspective. I don't know their situation. I don't know them, so I never got to converse with them. I just drove off, but I was, it was running in the back of my mind. Like, when you've already purchased a car, it's another story, because you have insured it fully under your name. Basically, that kind of beast of a car, you have the full cover insurance, like, no matter how the accident happens, they're going to repair your car. So this guy is on a red number plate. Red number plate, like I just said, it's on a test drive number plate. So that means this guy was on a road road uh, road test, like he wanted to purchase the car, so he was doing some, we call it a probe part over here. So so I was like, it ran my mind, shit, that's some shit over there. I, I, I think I, ha I have bad days, but that is the worst of the baddest day I could have, you know, if that was me there. So um, that's when it came to my mind, you know, there's, there's something that some car dealer, this is not a gen, it's, uh, for me, I assume that's not a 100% machine, it's a second hand car, that was not a brand new car, as you can see, it's, this is not a brand new car over here, it's basically a second hand, so that means the dealership is just normal backstreet guys buying cars and selling them off again, so there's something, there's some trick they always play sometimes, you know, to have that red number plate, you have to ensure that red number plate. So that this red number plate can be used by, by buyers when they come to take the car for test drive and everything. So there are some dealerships that they do not give all the information about what kind of model of cars they are giving and everything and everything. So that means it's just like yo, you make a 30 minutes test drive with it quickly in the hope that you don't make an accident or nothing happens, you know. There are people who do that, there are people who do it generally. So in that case, I don't know which situation that is. If all the documentation were okay, well and good, insurance will have to cover that. But if at all there was some small manipulation, then somebody's gonna have to dig deep in the pocket. Somebody, somebody, somebody is on the loss there. It's either the person who's purchasing the car caused the accident, or the dealership who, if they made some false information and everything. So, mind you, at this time I'm. I'm driving to the dealership. I want to go get uh, to to check out the Mercedes. This one that I'm talking about over here. I wanted to go check it out, and I'm like, dude, do you really want to get that car after after what you saw over here? And I'm like, shit, that's some expensive shit over there. I I can't handle this kind of shit at this moment, you know. That's when I was like, I was in my car. I'm like, damn, this guy still driving. What? The, why? Why don't you do justice to this car of yours, man? Just to, it's a fully paid car. You own it. You own it 100 percent. You from the insurance shit that the accident caused, you're gonna get some money out of it. So why why don't you pimp it inside there? Like give justice to this car. This car's given me justice for like six good years. Six good years, never broken down, never had issues. They come like damn. That's when I remember my first love. I'm like car. I think I'm a, I'm a start with you. I didn't go to the dealership, for sure. I didn't go to the dealership. I had to call there 
call off my phone and I'm like, yo, something came in between. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come today. And I'm 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 gonna call again to make another appointment. So I drove back home, sat down and I looked at my I stepped out of my car, looked at it around, made these photos that you're seeing over here now. I'm like there's only two things that are holding me back from repairing that car because now, now I think I'm I'm eighty percent gonna repair that car instead of purchasing this one there. This one is nice. This one is my one among my dream cars, but my dream my, my dream car is a G Wagon V8 P Turbo. If at all I ever get that tune for that, but this is the one that I wanted to get for the start, you know, to now to to step on the league a bit, you know. But then I thought, let me do justice to my car. Let me let me let me turn it to this, you know, at least soup it up, you know. Every car is inside there. I put it inside there. What it gets, I add a top a bit of it and put it to this so that I spare some time off, man. I want that thing, man, got me thinking, man. That thing got me thinking, you know. So many young boys over here, you always see them, they always get them credits to buy cars and everything and everything. And mind you, car, car is something that always depreciates value, you know. You buy a car today, get it out of, drive it out of the dealership, brand new. One day you can't resell it the, the amount you bought it. You can't. It has depreciated the value. So that's what got into my mind. I'm like, yeah, you don't really need that. It's not time. It's not time for that. So I'm going to take my car to, the, to, to, to assessment on Monday. And that's what's going to be the decision making. If, if I'm, I'm, if I'm, if I'm going to repair this car, or I'll have to get another car. Yeah. So that's what... That's the word crazy thing that I've seen, I've seen, uh, I've seen. So, um, yeah. <sighs> and that what brought me to, 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 to think. When you think uh, you, you, you have much problems, there are other people with bigger shit going inside them or go, going through at the moment, you know. And in this case, I think I'm well off. So stay tuned to my next video. I'ma be showing. I'ma 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 be posting again on Monday. To tell you if I'ma be turning my old car to this, or if I'ma do something different. If at all, I'll, I'll, maybe by then, maybe in two three days time, my my trauma would have gone down, <laughs> and maybe uh, rethought my decisions, and maybe see what's gonna happen. It's either I turn my old car to this. Or maybe go for the Mercedes. What do you guys think? Yeah, in consideration, this this is an advice from an expert. Ever, any day, whenever you're buying a car, never buy a car exceeding your year income. Like let's say the amount, the what you earn in a month. In America, people earn per week. Like let's say you calculate what you earn per week for the whole year, how much you earn it. Boom! Don't buy a car exceeding that price. Europe or anywhere, where, wherever you're living, wherever, you, which part of the world you're watching this video from. If, let's say you earn 40 to 50, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 euros or dollars in a, in a, in a year, don't, buy, don't go buy a car for 80,000 or 90,000. Reason being, it's maintenance, is expensive, so your life will be living for that karma. So, yeah, so basically, I'm gonna update you guys on on, on how things gonna unfold. Yeah, and if the person wants the MG V6 V8 P Turbo, if you're watching this, man, I'm sorry for you, bro. Hope hope your situation is good. Hope hope everything is sorted and everything. So till to the next video. Make sure you subscribe and click on the notification button so that you can get my next update. Peace out.